What's up, freaks? It's Steve Becker from PPC Personal Training Bootcamp and Boxing Nanuet, and you see it up there in the headlines. You want to work out at home, you don't have much equipment, and I want to tell you, no equipment, no problem, no excuses. First of all, you know you can do billions of things with body weight, but there's times we want to have some weight, some resistance. We've done previous videos about things you can find around the house that you can use for your workout, so look at those other videos about filling up your backpacks, filling up your luggage, all different size luggage, filling them up with books, with all kinds, of, all kinds of stuff that I can do. But I want to show you some stuff I got out outside in nature. We're going to be using for the workouts. I'm going to show you an example of some of these circuits here in a second. So first of all, I'm like, can I flip this around on live? Actually, I can. Look at that. So all different shapes of bricks, rocks, and this is for all of us, for the little freaks, for myself, this big one, this thing, and some of these are deceiving. That thing is like, I don't even know, 40, 50, 60 pounds down to these little tiny ones, which are a couple of pounds. But I'm going to show you tons of different exercises you could use. All we're using are these different size and shapes of rocks that we literally just dug out of the dirt out in the woods and just carried them along with some old tires, all different weights. This one probably, I mean, I don't know weights on tires. I really have no clue. I don't know, 20 pounds, 25 pounds. We're going to do tons of stuff with that. All the way down to these little tiny flimsy ones. The little midget that's running around back there. This is literally a tiny little flimsy light, squishy tire. You can see this one. There's a squishy light tire. It's like a couple of pounds. Look at that. Dense right in. So this is tiny and light from the heavy ones. Tons of stuff you could do with this stuff. We're going to start off with some of these. Start off with... These stones going to show you a, a whole circuit, a whole strength training circuit you can do with one freaking stone. And you can find this stuff anywhere. You can find different weights for all these different freaking exercises. So we're going to start, if you can see me. So the thing about it, like this thing is freaking heavy. It's a weird shape. It's a weird grip. So you're going to be working these muscles, like just to hold this here. Like literally sometimes we'll just walk, holding it here in front of me, the core, the legs, the glutes that it takes, the arms, obviously the forearm, the grip, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be on the floor. I think you can see me. Make sure you can see me. Make sure you can see me. Can you see me? Yeah, I can see you. So we're starting with just a chest press with this weird grip, with this rock, pushing this up. We're gonna do a lot of reps with it because it's not for two arms, not crazy heavy. But it is just a weird shape, weird grip. The weight's not evenly distributed. sure how many we did and look you're in the grass you're done throw it down don't know how many we did but it's work you could do whatever depending on how much the weight is you could also find two medium-sized ones and lay on your back and press these out like these are a good amount of weight each a weird grip too so it's going to give you a whole difference so that even though it's a lighter weight it's going to feel a lot heavier a lot harder just holding that grip so right after that chest press we're gonna make a circuit out of this i'm gonna use that same bigger one and just hold it up at my chest for a squat. Sitting back on my hips and heels. So I did a pushing movement with the chest press, right to the knee dominant, lower body movement, squat here. And my legs are sore as shit from all these peak online workouts I've been taking. Literally getting in the best shape of my life just following our peak online training. Don't even need a ton of it. And when you're done, you start losing it, you just dump it down. We're gonna go right into a bent over row. It's a little dirty, I'm getting my hands dirty. Who gives a crap? So we're right into a bent over row with this same stone. Just find a grip that works. And each set, grab it from a different grip. Like I'm gonna be close here this time. Back is straight. Just make sure Part of the rock doesn't hit you in the nuts. I 
don't know, it was 20, something like that. I'm getting pumped up already. I'm getting out of breath. My upper body's getting pumped up. My lower body's working. So we did a pushing movement, a lower body movement, a pull. We're going to go back to a push. A over, overhead press. Depending on how you're going to grab it. Look, I'm going to grab this sideways right here. Shoulder press can be a lot heavier than the chest press. The chest press can be a stronger movement. I'm using the same weight. So on the chest press, I was able to do more. Tice back up a little bit. Just if I drop this back behind me, this thing will crush you. Abs are strong. Back is straight. And done if you're losing it. You just drop the sucker. So we did a push, a lower, a pull. Right to the push of that shoulder press. We're going right back to a lower. For a deadlift, just grab it. Grab a different grip, literally different grip every time. So it's feeling like a whole different exercise. We're gonna go deadlift. Just leaning over the waist. And so Tyson's got his medium-sized rock to get work. We have light rocks for single arm stuff. Small little bricks for small rocks for cardio type stuff. The funnest part of that is when you're done, you just dump that shit down. So we did push, lower, pull, push, lower, and now we're going to go pull with a bicep curl to finish that round. Again, find a grip that works depending on the exercise you're doing. Ah, yes. Weird grip, weird shifting of the weight. It's going to feel like bicep curl you've never done before in your life. Working totally different. Like this shit is pumping up my arms right now. My grip, my forearms, making me use the muscles in a completely different way than I'm used to. Just odd shape, grip, uneven balance. It's pretty heavy for a bicep curl, this one. Put his two hands on it so it's possible. And done with that first circuit. So again, we did a push, lower, pull, push, lower, pull. It was a six set circuit. My whole body's worked right now. From that, literally from that, just showing you this, a few reps of each. I mean, we did some of them, 15, 20 reps on some of them. But also that order of the exercises matters. So we did a horizontal pushing movement. We did a knee dominant lower movement in the squat. Then we did a horizontal pulling movement, which was the bent over row. So those were exact opposite movements of each other. That was the first three. Then we went straight through to a vertical push, which is the shoulder press. A hip dominant lower, which is a deadlift. And then a vertical pull which was the bicep curl. So the first push and pulls were in this plane. The second two, more up and down here. The shoulder press, the bicep curl. So it lets us go straight through without needing a break. And I'm telling you right now, my freaking arms and upper body are automatically pumped up for doing this stuff. The, the bracing and the grip you have to do, unstable. And we're gonna run through that a few more times. But before doing that, I wanna show you some stuff you can do with the tire. Some more explosive type movements you can do with the tire. Strength movements you can do with the tire. And I'm gonna use two different tires to show you this. One heavier, and then I need a lighter one for these other ones. So I have a heavier one and a lighter one. So we're gonna go through some of those same movements to start, and then show you some cardio-ish, explosive type movements, having some fun with it after. But you can repeat some of those movements we just did. Back up some. With the 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 rock, so we're gonna go on our back for a chest press with the tire. If you want, add variety to it, you can bring your legs up in the air. Because this is a little lighter. So you can do a chest press with that. 
what I've done in the past, I'm not gonna do it now, is if you could secure some things inside that tire, I've made tires that have weighed, I don't even know, 100 pounds, 80 pounds, 100 pounds, 120 pounds, by stuffing things in the rim. If you have medicine balls, the stuff that's gonna be stuck in there securely, not gonna fall out on top of your head and on your face while you're doing it. But you can make that tire heavy by shoving it into the rim of the tire to make that chest press heavier. I could do, I don't know if you can see me, my feet were up on a step, but you could do a bent over row depending on the, the, width, the grip of the tire. And you can row it up. This one's a bigger one. My feet would be elevated and I'd be rowing it right here. So look. I could put, actually let me show you, I'll move this camera. So I just put a rock inside the tire, if you noticed. So I have a step here. I put a rock inside this tire to make it heavier, just so I can hang down and literally Depending on the shape of the tire, you can maneuver it. So many ways you could do this stuff. Just give, me, just give me some ideas. So stop making excuses. You don't have equipment. You don't have enough heavy, enough weight. So I can lift a fairly decent amount of weight. And this stuff just is so awkward and so different. Doing some higher reps. This shit is pumping me the hell up right now. I'm feeling, I'm feeling freaking strong. And not just pumping me up. Feeling like a different kind of strength. Like a real world strength. Because it's making you grip a little different. And work a little different. I'm going to take this rock out. Just so it doesn't drop on my head, but I could just grip this right here and hug it and hit a squat. And this weight is pulling forward. I could put some weight inside there too. I could hold it on the rim here. This is a hard squat because it's trying to pull me forward. And this tire is not that much. I don't know what tires weigh, 15, 20, I don't even know. But it's trying to pull me forward. I really have to brace my abs, not let it pull me forward. And if you need to, you just get a lighter tire where it's not gonna pull me forward as much. And I could do faster sets, more reps. Let's go back to this. So again, that was a push, lower pull. So we're gonna go do another push, a vertical push. Depending on how much dirt and gunk you have in there, close your eyes on some of these. Cause I've already had some of that dirt go into my eye, in my mouth, whatever. Make you strong, boost up your immune system. So we're gonna push this overhead, the head in between here, inside the tire again. I could add shit into the rim of this tire. Medicine balls, rocks, books. Stuff that's not gonna fall off your head. You can make it uneven, you can make it even. Doesn't matter. And we're gonna push this straight. Back up some tight so I don't drop it on you. If I dropped it, straight overhead. have any extra tires in your house i only had one of these or we only got one of these on our own the rest mechanic shops are still open went there kept our little social awareness or whatever it's called show social spatialness or whatever the whatever the fuck it's called and just saw the guy in the garage hey you got any tires i could take off your hands use tires that, that are that are it they had a stack of them that were just in a back area or whatever that they didn't need anymore loaded up picked the weights i needed a bunch of different weights for me for the kids for different exercises, some for more strength movements, some for more explosive. And we got a whole collection of them. There's like, I don't even know, six, seven tires here to be used for all this different stuff. So we're gonna show you now. We just did the solar press. Again, the deadlift would be the same place as we did the rows over there. We're not gonna do them, but you could just lean over. We would need to be up on a step somewhere so it doesn't hit the floor. You could also hold it here for a deadlift. You could do a mixed grip for a deadlift like you would do on a bar and lean over, you see your feet elevated up on a step. On a ledge, we're not gonna do that one. And then a bicep curl. Literally, I could grab this, look at this. This is the lighter one. You don't need much weight in this, because when you have it out here, all that outer weight is pulling forward. Complete different feel. Like this is brace, I'm having to squeeze my legs, brace my abs, my arms are just getting freaking pumped right now from a little tire. All of you so far is a rock and a tire and I'm getting ridiculous. I guarantee you I could do this work with only this stuff I just showed you for two months straight and get in much better shape than I'm in right now. Guarantee it. I'm not even trying that. Not touch anything 
except for rocks and tires and body weight for two freaking months. Because this little quarantine thing, not going away anytime soon. So you, I, I'm hoping you're starting to let this stuff sink in about different ways you can make this happen, that you can stop making excuses about the equipment that you don't have. All right, so we're going to go into some. You're going to need to get out of the way for this one, Tice. Because this one's, you could do it, but somewhere, this one's going to get nasty. This is the fun ones. We're going to do different explosive throws. First, let me show you. You can take a light. This is going to need to use probably lighter tires. You can use heavier ones, but you're not going to be able to throw it much. First, I'm going to take this from gripping it on the inside, and I'm going to reach overhead, and boom, right back overhead. I'm slamming it on the ground. So you don't have a medicine ball to slam. Holding this. Crazy. Boom. Right back overhead. Don't need many of them, and your heart rate is going to be through the roof. At the same time, I'm working my legs, my glutes, my quads, my hamstrings. Core is on fire. The arms, my, my arms are ready to burst just from showing you these few exercises. They are just pumped up right now. Look at this. You want a little bounce to it to go a little faster pace? Do it off another tire. I don't know if you can even see me. So I'm another tire down there now. That was off the concrete. I could do a tire. Hopefully it doesn't bounce, hit me in the face. But at least it's on camera. You can get a good laugh out of it. So I'm not going as low, and it's a softer impact, bouncing it back up higher. That's just slams you could do with the tire. Next one, we're going to do some throws. Watch out, Tice. So I'm going to do a bunch of different throws. Watch. It's going to be from my chest. It's going to be overhead throw. It's going to be winding up to the left, throwing to the right. Winding up to the left, winding up to the right, throwing to the left. And then the best one, my favorite one, the backwards overhead. So I'm going to rotate between all those. So watch these different throws. From the chest first. Watch out, Tice. I don't know where it's going to go. It's going to go flying. Watch out. I'm throwing it. <laughs> From the chest. From the shoulders. That height and distance. Oh, it almost knocked you over. Came this close to knocking you over. Then we're going to go to the side. Look, I'm going to grab it here. I'm going to wind up to the left, pivoting my feet, and throw to the right. Look at that. Get some air. Run after it. Wind up to the right. Go to the left. And the last one, backwards, overhead. I'm going to wind up at the hips without hyperextending your lower back. Keep your abs tight. Power by your legs and hips and flipping it overhead. Just watch your surroundings. So you're not going to crush anyone with it. Sprint after it. So that was chest, shoulders, side, side, backwards, overhead. Five throws. Rotate between those. Sprint after it for five rounds. Heart rate will be through the roof. Whole body's working. Upper lower body. Core is engaged. Pumped the hell up. You can do that circuit we did with the, the rocks. Those six exercises. You can do that for three rounds. The circuit we did with the tire. You can do that for two rounds. And then go five rounds of the tire throws. This is what we're about to finish off doing. I just wanted to run through and show you it all instead of doing it all. Instead of you watching me do it. We're about to go run through all these over and over several times it's gonna be a crazy workout so let me know how it goes go get some tires get some rocks get less excuses get moving get your ass up off the couch use this time as an excuse to do more don't use this as an time as an excuse to do less operation keep freaking moving that's all you need to be thinking about I will talk to you later. Put in the comments below how this goes. Put in some pictures of you working out with your rocks, your stones, whatever other creative ideas you come up with. Could be buckets of water, buckets of sand. It never ends. It's so much that you can get going. As long as you have the right mindset, the right coaching, the right technique, because you don't want to hurt yourself. Don't try and go do this stuff on your own, any of this craziness. That's why we're offering full schedule of training sessions, boot camp sessions, boxing sessions, one-on-one personal training, available seven days a week, live coaching. These are not only just some videos you're watching on YouTube that you're going to end up hurting yourself because you don't know what you're doing. You don't even know if it's meant for you, for your goals. This is personalized training for, for you in the group, live. So we're actually seeing you do it and coaching you through it, as well as live follow-along training sessions. You can follow right along. There's literally dozens of them ready on our website. There's over 60, 50, 60 of them already, catalog, back catalogs from all the days. So if you want information about that, just send me a private message. 
put down in the comments below. Send me a picture of you with your tire, with your rock, with your craziness, whatever you got. A, a twig, a stone, whatever. Bricks. Oh, right, bricks. We're not even done. So I'm finding these two moderately weighted, nothing crazy. So I could sit and do double arm bicep curls. I could do alternating bicep curls. I can do shoulder presses with these. Now they're a little lighter than regular weights, so I'm gonna do, I would go a little faster pace and higher reps. I could go alternating shoulder press. I could alternating curl to press. These are a little heavy for boxing, but if they were a little lighter, I could go boxing with them. They're a little heavy for that. I would need more bricks for that. We have bricks around, but we're not gonna go that right now. I could go run and punch up. I could go run and punch out. Unlimited what I could do with these things. They were a little, they're a little, if you need a little light one, you can go fast, alternating rows. I could just hold them here, squat, press right, squat, press left. You can see this could go on forever. That's why you need guidance, you need coaching, you need mentoring, you need leadership. So let me know if you would like some help in that area because I'm telling you this quarantine stuff, this corona stuff is not going anywhere anytime soon. It's still going to get a lot worse, I think, before it gets better. So let me know if you need help with anything. Put a comment down below. Send me a private message. We will hook you up with some live online coaching. Literally, we are watching you, seeing you, coaching you, guiding you. And you will still, you can still and will still get in the best shape of your life and get crazy results. Whether it's weight loss, conditioning, just health, boosting your, boosting your immune system, building lean muscle, it will all happen from your home. We've been doing it now for several weeks and been doing this for several decades. So if you need anything else, let me know. I will talk to you later. You are freaking awesome. Tyson, want to tell them anything? No! Egg! Skill! Sex! Very, very normal child. I can't imagine where he gets it from. I will talk to you later. No excuses.